This just in. Here's something I, again, don't normally do. I don't normally unbox something and immediately <laughs> jump online with the video, but I was pretty excited about this module that just came in. The Expert Sleepers Disting NT. Now, I don't know what NT stands for because I haven't even cracked open the manual yet. This is going to be my first 10 minutes just fiddle farting around. And, <laughs> and then later when I do a an actual My Modular Journey episode about it. I'll get, get into it a little deeper, but here it is. Let's check it out. Turn on some power. It's quite pretty. So look, check this thing out. It's huge. It's very big. Uh, also, I'm noticing that when, it's, when it does fire up, it does seem to spend some time looking for sample files and wavetables and all this stuff like that, because there's a ton of stuff you can put on this little SD card right here. I only know that because I watched the, uh, the Expert Sleepers video about the module. You'll see here there's a couple of buttons around the bottom for, for getting into various menus, and there's knobs, of course, for navigating those menus. And then there's a ton of these jacks here in the front. There's 12 inputs and there's six outputs, so that's pretty cool. But I'm not going to, again, not going to get into this too deep. Let's just make some noise. And I'm going to start with the presets, because why not? I'll start with their presets. All right, hold on, let me plug in some some audio outs here to these glowing audio out jacks and raise, raise, let's raise some volumes. So here's why I'm excited about Disting NT. Because up here I have a Disting Mark IV, which I really love because it's got a beautiful, it's got beautiful effects. It's got a lot of utility in it. If you recall, Disting Mark IV is like 80 different things in one, but you can only listen to one thing at a time. You can only use one utility at a time in the Mark IV. But look at this guy right here. You can use multiple algorithms <laughs> at the same time in a, in a chain. So you start up here with a clock, there's a shift register random algorithm. There's another one below it in the chain that's generating these sounds. Here's a quantizer that's tuning those randoms into voltage. It, all of that is then playing a poly multi sample, which is this piano sound you hear. Then there is delay. There's a stereo delay and a reverb. And then finally it goes out of the module right here. That is what I am super excited about. Let's go try something else. Now this granulated piano, just fiddling around with it a moment ago, didn't seem to do much, but it, it's also because I, I don't think I know what I'm doing yet. Uh oh, I crashed it. Look at that. Did you see that? <laughs> hey, expert sleepers, your module just crashed. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's cycle the power. Well, that's not supposed to happen on my first 10 minutes with Disting NT. All right, we're back to uh, trying again. Let's go see if we can load another, another preset. One that I did stumble upon a moment ago, uh, just before turning on the camera, was this one ca called Rahoy, 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 I don't know what that means. But, let me get my sound out of here. This one is gonna require me to get plates. <coughs> Plates, you know, that mutable instruments plates module. I just know how much you guys hate that. <laughs> All right, so how do I get back to what this is? So this one here is something, what's it called? It's called a Kerbinator. Kerbinator. <laughs> and it's made up of a, of course, a clock. Hold on here, let me get to the top. It's got a clock. It's got a delay stereo, and then it goes into this thing called a Kerbinator. 
and then it reverb and then it goes out. So let's look at the cur Curbinator. Oops, wrong button. Oops, wrong button. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so this was pretty fun to just sit and listen to for a minute while I was preparing the room for this video. So that's pretty cool. Reminds me a little bit of Data Bender in a way, the way sometimes Data Bender gets into that little stuttery, choppy, stuttery, granular kind of sound. But anyway, that's really it. I, I'm not going to get, again, I wasn't going to get too deep. I'm just super excited it came in the door. I think this is a brand new thing. I haven't found a video on YouTube yet about it. So that's why I'm going to wait a little while to do my own because I want to see if somebody else is smarter than me that can figure out some of this stuff. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go download the manual and actually do some reading and uh, see what else I can do with this. What I what I'm really looking forward to is putting my own sounds into this and having it come out doing something. Oh wait, there is one more thing I wanted to try. Thank you, expert sleepers, for disting NT. I'm gonna kind of love this module, I'm pretty sure. It's a little large, but I think it does a lot of stuff, and I'm really looking forward to stacking up some algorithms and running out of memory as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.